top 10 reasons to move to Mississippi. Just an intro before we get to the list. Mississippi is in the deep southeastern region of the United States. Mississippi borders Arkansas to the northwest, Tennessee to the north, Alabama to the east, the Gulf of Mexico to the south, Louisiana to the west. Mississippi's capital is Jackson. Let's begin. Number 10, wildlife. Nature in Mississippi is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It ranges from swamps, forests, and a little bit of mountains. But 60% of Mississippi is forested areas. So that means that they don't have so much swamps because Louisiana, Louisiana has more swamps than Mississippi, but Mississippi is like more woodlands. But yeah, there's still like swamp tours and stuff. So yes, if you're a nature lover and nothing, you should go visit Mississippi. If you want to go visit in the southeastern region of the United States, if you've even never been over here to like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, if you want to go visit one of those states, you should do Mississippi. And they have dangerous animals and stuff like coyotes and black bears and, and alligators and venomous snakes and spiders, uh, foxes, raccoons, all that. Number nine. Biloxi, Mississippi. Yes, Biloxi, Mississippi is probably my favorite part of Mississippi. They have casinos, bars, buffets, restaurants, beaches, arcade. They have some they have a nice beach, Biloxi Beach. And pretty five star hotels there too like the golden nugget but we'll get to that later in the video number eight people people in mississippi are really really nice people but keep in mind people in mississippi can be religious and stuff they have a lot of country folks out there but in general, a lot of people in Mississippi are really nice. A lot they talk a lot. They love socializing. I like people. I like Mississippians. Like people in Mississippi, they're really nice and they have good customer service on some restaurants and stuff. I noticed that. Number seven. Festivals. Mississippi is known for their jazz music, festivals, and other. I highly recommend you go into their festivals. They have a lot of different festivals. Um, this, they have like a carnival festivals, the strawberry festival, and the seafoods fest festivals, crawfish, crawfish and shrimp festivals and stuff. So yeah. I highly recommend you go into the festivals there. It's pretty cool. And they have like country singing there. If you into country music, I like country music. I like the old ones though. But yeah, they have country festivals as well. Number six, climate. Mississippi has a hot, humid, tropical climate. And the bad things about Mississippi weather is hurricanes, tropical storms, thunderstorm, and tornadoes. But yeah, they get that rarely sometimes. The tornado season is like in spring, but it doesn't last as long. Same thing in Louisiana. Like, it's from March to, March to like May. But Mississippi... Fall is beautiful. The best times to visit Mississippi is fall and winter, but they have it short winters too, but it can be kind of cold. I'm not going to lie. It can be cold, but they do have shorter winters than other states. Number five, the beach. 
Have you ever been to Mississippi, southern Mississippi? Have you ever been to the beach in Mississippi? It's really quiet and calming. And Mississippi has a few different beaches, such as Bay St. Louis, Gulfport, uh, and Gulf Shores. No, not Gulf Shores, um, Biloxi. But my favorite beach is Biloxi. But yeah, it's it's I, I like it there. I know it's not the most prettiest water, but it's still something like it's nice, nice to hang out and stuff over the summer. A lot of people, are, people are actually in the beach in the summer. And I like the sunset too, in the beach. It's really cool. So if you like beaches, and if you're if you're wondering if south south southeastern like Mississippi has beaches, yes they do. Number four, nice hotels and casinos. There's some hotels and casinos I know that's in Mississippi, such as the Silver the Silver Slipper. It's in Bay St. Louis. They have a casino and a hotel. The Golden Nugget. And Margaritaville. Those are the three main hotels that I know about. So, I really want to go to Margaritaville and Golden Nugget, but the hotels are expensive. Yes, they're like $400 a night, $300 a night, $500 a night. Isn't that crazy? Number three, state parks. Mississippi has a lot of different state parks all over Mississippi. I've actually never been to a single state park yet. If you have a chance to go to the state parks, it's beautiful. I've seen pictures of it. It's really nice. Some of them has ATVs, they have pets allowed, uh, like water slides. But yeah, I highly recommend you going trying out their state parks. I never went yet, but I want to go soon. I want to go like in the winter, like camp out. <laughs> Number two. Food. The food is great. I I love Mississippi food. They have all kinds of food, like soul food. Um, every single food you can possibly want. And Mississippi is known for their seafood and Cajun food and soul food. But yes, you should try their food. It's delicious. I highly recommend it. You should try it. And number one, low payment, low taxes. Mississippi is the cheapest state in America. You can buy a nice house, maybe for like two hundred twenty thousand dollars or three hundred thousand dollars, or even like a hundred ninety thousand dollars. That's a good deal for a, ho- a nice house. And grocery utility utility bills tend to be pretty low too. Grocery stores can be cheap. And they have some land, like in the rural area. They have some land that's for good, like, big land, of like, many acres of land for, like, a good price. So land tend to be cheap. That's the, the state that has the cheapest land is Mississippi. So, yes. And there we have it, the top ten reasons to move to Mississippi. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Like if you like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'm doing another state tomorrow. Have a good day. Good night.